What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today my dudes, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a zero tick bone meal farm. Now this is basically going to be the same as the zero tick sugarcane farm video I threw up about a uh, maybe about a week or two ago. It's going to be the same thing but basically we're going to be putting a composter at the bottom so the sugarcane collects into a composter and then through a hopper and then into a chest. So that way you're going to get a lot of bone meal. Now we're making this bone meal farm because I came out with a video um, a couple days ago probably now that was a auto crop farm and the auto crop farm relies on a lot of bone meal. So I said I'll come out with a video on making a auto bone meal farm. So we're going to be doing that today. Let's get right into it. First things first though my dudes. Let's see if we can smash a 50 like goal. If we could smash a 50 like gold, that'd be amazing, my dudes. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. Because I think it said on my YouTube analytics the other day that only 2% or 3% of my um, viewers are subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that sub button. It would mean a lot. All right, so let's go over what you guys are going to need. We're going to need 27 pieces of, of any block you want. We're going to be using crimson planks because, you know, it looks awesome. And also, we're going to need three wood stairs. Um, well, this could be any type of stairs. Um, we're using warped because it looks awesome. Uh, we're going to need pe three pieces of dirt, three pieces of sugarcane, one chest, six dispensers, two redstone repeaters, um, 18 pieces of glass, six pieces of glass panes. We're going to need three pistons, five hoppers, 29 redstone, one redstone torch, one composter, one lever, and six buckets of water. Now, I want to mention in this, just so you guys know, this is not my build. It is not my build. I am actually just using this build for educational purposes, showing you guys how to build it. First things first, we're going to make a V shape to start. We're going to go ahead and make a V like this. Delete those. Then we're going to throw a lever on this side. Hold on, it's getting dark. We're going to throw a lever on that side. Flick the lever down. We're going to throw a redstone torch underneath. A redstone repeater like that. And then we're going to build three redstone, four pieces of redstone out. Now we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to come over here, put one piece of redstone. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to dig this out. And we're going to grab our redstone. Fill it all in over here and fill it all in over there like this. All right, my dudes, now we're going to go ahead and grab our six dispensers and make them facing upwards just like that. Then we're going to grab our three pieces of stairs and put one, two, three. Now we're going to go ahead and put a temporary block. Then we're going to put our composter right here. Then we're going to dig under here, place your chest, and we're going to grab all our hoppers now. We're going to place a hopper leading into that chest. We're going to place a hopper right on top of this composter. Then we're going to crouch, look at this hopper, place one, place another, and place another. You got to jump down here. So make sure all these hoppers are leading into each other and until it leads into this one, and this one leads into the composter, the composter leads into this hopper, and then into the chest. That way everything will be collected. Now let's grab our three pieces of dirt. One, two, three. Now let's surround the build so no water gets out. We're going to go one, two, three there. One, two, three there. One, two, three there. Just like this, my dudes. So now no water is going to get out when the water um, interchanges between these two areas. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and grab our water buckets. Now we're going to fill this top area up here. One, two, three. And then we're going to grab just regular buckets because I'm in creative. So normally when you're in survival, the water would empty out of the bucket, but it's not going to empty out because um, obviously we're in creative. So we're going to put one bucket in each dispenser under here. Just like that. And then now these other dispensers that are right here, we're going to put a water bucket in each of them. Make sure there's water in the bucket, not a plain bucket. All right, so now that there is water in these buckets on the right side and the left side has no water and just a regular bucket and the water is filled up like this, we're going to go ahead and test it now. Now, as you can see, the water will interchange back and forth. If you had it correct, like set up correctly, this is how it should look, my dudes. And uh, if it doesn't look like that, fix it and retry. All right, my dudes, so we're going to add a temporary block like this. Put this here. 
And then uh, we're actually going to put our our um, piston facing this way and do the same on these sides. Now, this is what's going to chop the um, sugar cane when it grows. And then we're going to fill in back here, one, two, three, like this. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put our last redstone repeater like this. And uh, you're going to make sure to right click on this. Make sure it's at the second notch like that. And we're going to grab our redstone and we're going to make a little staircase up here like this. And then we're going to attach it like that. So make sure all the pistons are pushed out now. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our sugar cane and we're going to plant our sugar cane like that. So your farm should look totally like this so far, my dudes. Pretty simple so far. Now we're going to go ahead and put some siding on here. Two pieces of glass here. Well, three, three by two like that. And then we're going to grab our glass panes. And uh, we're going to put it like this. That way our farm will collect all the supplies, all the sugarcane dropping. And then let's put a little roof on it. Like that. Or you can delete these. Actually, no. It looks better with those. You can put a roof on it like that. Any way you really want to do it. Doesn't That doesn't really matter. So now that the farm is complete, we can go ahead and turn it on. And uh, as you can see, these pistons are going to chop the sugar cane when the sugar cane grows. And then basically it's going to put the sugar cane into this composter. Now it's going to take a few seconds, as you guys can see. Um, it probably grows every 30-ish seconds, 40-ish seconds. And then eventually you'll come down here and you'll have bone meal. So we'll just wait a minute and uh, I'll show you guys, as you can see, more sugar canes getting cut. And then I'll show you guys that bone meal will eventually be in there. So we're waiting for that composter to fill up there. All right, as you guys just seen, the, compo the composter filled all the way up. And we now have some bone meal. So it took about two minutes, I'd say, to get one piece of bone meal. Now, it's not super, super efficient, but it will work. And if you're going AFK, it's going to help a ton. So thank you so much for watching, my dudes. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Um, I'm actually going to look into building a little bit faster of one. Um, with my own design because I'm kind of interested on trying it out. Um, so in the next week or two, I'll try to work on a um, quicker and more efficient farm. Maybe if I make it longer or maybe put a whole nother side onto it. Something like that. But we'll figure it out, my dudes. So thank you so much for watching. Let's see if we can smash a 20 like goal. And also, if you're new to the channel, smash that sub button. And I'll see you guys in the next Minecraft tutorial. Thank you for watching. All right, my dudes. So... Um, this was actually recorded after I made that video, but, um, I decided to try and, uh, make this farm a little bit extended. Um, so what I did instead, I'm going to show you guys, is I actually just mirrored the farm. So what I did is literally just mirrored this farm and made this one, and, uh, they work perfectly fine. So if you guys want to get a better yield off of your, um, crops... Literally just take all, just look at the beginning of the video of what I um, showed you guys what you need and just uh, do two times and then just mirror it to this side. And uh, it works just as good. Um, as you guys can see, it is collecting bone meal. It is filling it up. Um, but that's going to increase your chance and increase like, you know, um, the quantity of bone meal over time. I thought I'd show you guys this. I was, I was like thinking, I was like, you know what? How can I make this farm better? Um, so all I did was mirror it. So if you guys want to mirror it, go ahead and mirror it. Um, you're going to get more bone meal from it. Um, other than that though, like I said, I'm going to try to come out with a better idea and uh, maybe try and make something a little bit more efficient. But for now, this is going to work pretty good. As you guys can see, it's pumping away. Um, it's getting, it's got more bone meal, but it's not the most efficient farm. So use this one for now. And, uh, I'm going to come up with a new one in the next week or two, like I said. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.